mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Like many breast cancer survivors, Michelle was advised to get a double me. And while the surgery reduced the chance for a relapse, a new and unexpected problem emerged. My name is Michelle. I'm the proud mother of two beautiful children. About eight years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. It devastated my entire world. When I heard the words breast cancer, all I could think about were my children. That's what I worry about the most. <laughs> when she got sick, it all kind of happened like that. I started chemotherapy immediately. I was weak. I got the sores in my mouth. My fingernails came off. I lost all of my hair and I lost my voice. Six months into my treatment, my doctors recommended I have a double mastectomy. It was either I was going to lose my breast or lose my life. A week after the surgery, I thought the worst of it was over, but they removed the bandages and I wasn't prepared for what I saw. I was cut from the back of my underarm all the way to the center of my breast. I had really ugly loose skin. I call them cow meat. I was very upset, but I knew that I was going to get reconstruction. After the expanders got to almost the right size, bam, I got infections and I had to have an emergency surgery. The reoccurring infections caused delay after delay. And by the time my body was ready, my insurance was gone. It's been five years and I am half done. Every day that I look in the mirror, it's embarrassing, it's very humiliating. I want her to have that same pizzazz about herself, that sense of self-worth that she once had. Just hope that she gets to live her dream and like make everything happen that she wants to happen. I believe that I'm going to live a long time, but if I don't, I don't want to hide for the rest of my life. I'm just not like I used to be. I want to be who I was. Please welcome Michelle to the show. And I know this is just such a long emotional journey. Where's your headspace now? Because this is not over. No, I, I first I want to say that I'm, I'm grateful for my life. I'm so happy that I lived to see this day. Mm -hmm. um, many people don't make it, but I'm one of the ones that that made it sound blessed. You know, reconstructing a woman who's gone through a mastectomy, which means removing your breast tissue, presents very unique reconstructive uh, challenges to the surgeon. The, sur the initial surgery, the mastectomy, has changed the blood vessels, has changed the lymphatics, mm. has changed the skin. So when we try to bring that tissue back, it doesn't, it doesn't respond as, as normal other tissue, that's what makes it so tough. And, and certainly, Drew, the infections don't help. But Michelle, you said something that I thought was profound, which is you said, I'm blessed. I am. Mm -hmm. And you're blessed to be live. And we're blessed to have you on the stage. Thank You've been you. through so much with your family. Thank you. I know they just want you to be happy. We actually have a special surprise for you. We, we heard that you had applied for a nonprofit that could help with con reconstruction costs. The man behind that nonprofit organization, Dr. Michael Zarabi, he's wow. here. And Dr. Zarabi, I would like to invite you to come on out on wow. stage. Dr. Zarabi, always Thank a you. pleasure to have you. So always tell nice us to be more here. about your chapter two, the foundation that you have set up. Well, um, you know, I started uh, chapter two because I truly in my heart believe that each and every one of us have uh, a responsibility to help those around us. And I can't tell you how excited I am to be here and, and to meet you. And I read about your story. And um, this is my way of giving back. And it's... It, uh, it's the best feeling to be able to help patients like yourself. So, um, on, on behalf of uh, my nonprofit, um, I would like to offer you uh, free plastic surgery. Um, a Just assuming you're a good surgical candidate, the goals 
are to do a revision breast reconstruction for you, help you to achieve more symmetry, remove all of that extra skin that you have. And, and my hope is for you to feel both beautiful on the inside and beautiful on the outside and, and make your hope. Eight years later, how do you feel? Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's been a long journey. I'm very excited right now. I hope that I am a good candidate. Um, I've been the 1%, you know, that they say oh, it's not going to happen to you because only 1% uh, get this, but I'm, I'm very excited right now. Now you can be the good part thought. of the 1% that gets free plans. Gets <laughs> <everything>. <laughs> you should be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Thank you. You know, you're gonna come back and visit us afterwards. Yes, maybe I'll date. Maybe I'll get a boyfriend. There we go. I wow, love it. Michelle, wishing you all the best. Dr. Robbie, thank you for thank you, you and thank all the work you. your nonprofit does. Thank you very much. Coming up, Tyrese and Rev Run are back. It's like double for your trouble. Revealing their secret for shedding pounds. That's my like secret for dropping weight really fast. Plus. Edible insects, bug grub, the culinary trend crawling its way to your kitchen. That's coming up, coming tomorrow. Dr. Trump becomes the patient. I woke up in the middle of the night and my arm was numb. I could barely host the show. 